1986, the World Cup was hosted in Mexico, the second time in 16 years. It was anticipated to be a great tournament, and one team, led by the little god of Naples, were looking to become world champions for the second time. This is the story of how Diego Maradona won Argentina the World Cup. Diego Maradona had started to turn his career around in the mid-80s. Having left Barcelona in disgrace, he joined Napoli in 1984, instantly becoming deified by the Neapolitans. Maradona had just missed out on Argentina's victorious 1978 campaign, and the Argentines were not out in the second round in 82. In 1986, Maradona hoped to be third-time lucky. At the time, Argentina were a struggling nation, still feeling the effects of losing the Falklands War four years earlier. It was no secret that Carlos Bilardo based his side around Maradona, and the players and fans alike saw Maradona as their prodigal son. Maradona's roommate for the tournament would tiptoe to the bathroom at night, fearing that if he woke Maradona, they would be responsible if their star player underperformed. Argentina stayed in modest accommodation in Mexico, with only one TV and telephone in the entire hotel. The poor conditions, however, saw the players grow close and bond, but early on, it seemed as though the stars were not shining on them. The players were told not to drink the local water, but team captain Daniel Passareo was unaware that the ice cubes in his whiskey counted. He came down with a violent case of diarrhoea, and further injuries meant he would never play for Argentina again. Maradona would replace him as captain. Argentina began their campaign against South Korea, winning by three goals to one. The actions performed before that game became a ritual for the rest of the tournament. The ritual involved a number of actions, such as going out for hamburgers, team manager Carlos Beraldo ringing his wife at exactly 5pm, Ricardo Gusti leaving a suite in the middle of the pitch, and Maradona forming a figure out of the team kit and boots which nobody was allowed to walk over. Maradona faced his home away from home Italy in the next game, and netted as Argentina were held to a one-all draw. Goals from Valdano and Buruchaga sealed a tuna win over Bulgaria and a spot in the round of 16, where they defeated Uruguay 1-0. Argentina were not on good terms with their quarter-final opponents. Argentina would be up against England, only four years before, the United Kingdom defeated Argentina in the Falklands War over a period of ten weeks to reclaim control over the islands. Argentina were decimated by the war, and anger remained over the sinking of the Belgrano cruiser when Margaret Thatcher ordered the sinking of the ship, despite it being outside the allocated 200 nautical mile exclusion zone of the islands. The sinking saw 323 lives lost. Argentina were well up for the game, with Argentine troops sending telegrams to the team telling them to recreate the performance of the missiles that sunk the HMS Sheffield, whilst England fans were saying they were up for another war. On the 22nd of June 1986, Argentina and England stepped out into the Estadio Azteca for a game that would go down in World Cup history. Argentina dominated the first half, but could not make a breakthrough, and the scores were level at 0-0 going into the break. But in the second half, Argentina's star man would produce two moments that would go down in history for completely different reasons. In the 51st minute, a botch clearance from Steve Hodge looped into the box, with Peter Shilton coming out to try and meet it. Maradona, too short to get his head to it, raised a fist, and it bounced off Maradona's hand and into the net. Maradona ran off in celebration, whilst the England players protested to the referee, who said he did not see the handball. It may have been an ugly way to take the lead, but the next goal was a thing of beauty. Four minutes later, Maradona received the ball in his own half. He turned brilliantly, bewildering three England players, and ran into their half. He continued running, striding into a box, with none of the England players able to stop him. He rounded Peter Shilton and put it into the net. Argentina were two ahead, thanks to a cocktail of the dark arts and a moment of magic. Gary Lineker would get one back for England, but Argentina held on. After the game, Maradona said it was the perfect revenge for the Falklands War. They were through to the semi-finals, where they faced Belgium. In front of over 100,000 spectators, Maradona once again netted a brace. 
Argentina won 2-0 and were heading to another World Cup final. Argentina would face West Germany on the 29th of June 1986. 114,000 spectators showed up to the Estadio Azteca in the sun. The best player in the world, Maradona, had a chance to be king of the world. West Germany prepared for Maradona's threat, giving Lothar Matthias the daunting task of man-marking him. Maradona could not sleep the night before the game, but he had the chance to live a dream. A header from Jose Luis Brown in the 23rd minute put Argentina ahead. He had only been picked for the tournament at the last minute by Bilardo, and it would be the defender's only ever international goal. He certainly picked the right moment. The scores remained 1-0 at half-time, but just over 10 minutes into the second half, Argentina doubled their lead when Jorge Valdano was played through and tucked it into the bottom corner. Argentina were just over half an hour away from ruling the world. However, it wasn't over yet. Karlheinz Rummenigge netted in the 74th minute to give West Germany life, and with 9 minutes to go, Rudi Voller levelled the scores. The game had been turned on its head, but soon Maradona's dream was revived. In the 84th minute, Maradona played a sublime through ball to Jorge Burachaga. Running through the West Germany half, he placed it into the bottom corner to restore Argentina's lead, and it would be the deciding moment. The full-time whistle blew, and Argentina were champions of the world for a second time, a feat they have not achieved since. A prime Maradona had taken on the world and won. He lifted the trophy high in the air. The little boy from his shanty town on the outskirts of Buenos Aires had cemented his place in history. Whilst it is somewhat harsh to call the Argentina side of 1986 a one-man team, their victory would not have been possible without him. He played every minute of every game, netting five times and getting five assists, involved in ten of Argentina's 14 goals. It was perhaps the greatest individual performance at a World Cup ever seen, and we may never see such beauty as Maradona gave us in 86 ever again. <laughs>